Now we have to change this gallery to make it responsive as well. Now we have to find this one image. And this one. Then this one. and this one okay uh, the second column now Uh, now we have to change layout, remove absolute position for all elements and set a responsive width. Uh, now, uh, here we can see that our two columns with items in the gallery aligns as a one big column. Uh, to fix this, uh, we just have to set display to flex. Okay. Uh, okay, let's add here margin top to separate uh, items by vertical. Uh, the same for the second column.
Okay. Uh, the next fix uh, will be change a button element. And add uh, button size and borders. Mm, uh, this uh, text element uh, is redundant. I remove it. Also, I add a wrapper for the button that will help me align button to the center. Uh, and last, uh, fix here, uh, remove hate from scroll wrapper. Uh, now we see that button is behind the tabs bar. To fix this, I add a margin button rule. Uh, one more fix, I need to add plus inside a red button in the tabs bar. Uh, I see here a uh, mask image, uh, this is uh, redundant here. Uh, to fix this, uh, I add size uh, to the button 70 and 40 uh, to hate. Also, uh, I add ground color. And border radius 20. Uh, because height is 40. Now I can remove a mask and background color rules uh, and change text uh, value to plus. Uh, also, it uh, needs to align plus uh, to the center. I add display flex and ju justify and align to the center for the button element. One more fix, I increase font size. and color for plus. Finished with uh, first screen. It works properly when we change uh, device direction. It works properly as well. It's responsive now and flexible. Uh, the same we have to do with second screen, with this, with this screen. Let's do this. I finished with second screen and it works properly now. Uh, when I change a direction, uh, elements stretch regarding a device size. Now I need uh, to add a navigation flow. Let's uh, do this. Uh, 
let's add navigation action to the button. Uh, here we have three option, uh, three options of navigation: navigate, navigate to, navigate replace, navigate back. Uh, when we leave navigate to, uh, current screen will add to the navigation stack. Uh, we don't need this uh, in the tab um, navigation behavior. We have to replace current screen to second screen. Okay, and uh, let's do this for the first screen. When we press this button, we have to navigate to the search result screen. Okay, it navigates now. want to change uh, the particular button color to the uh, another color i want to highlight a specific color for a specific uh, screen for example this color i will highlight to the red and this color i will highlight to the red as well and now when we change the screens, we can see that a particular button will be highlighted with another color. Also, I want to change uh, the navigation animation behavior. I can do this in the project, uh, project navigation tab uh, to uh, change this for the whole uh, project. Now it has slide left for current screen and slide left to the next screen. I will change this uh, on fade and none. Uh, it just will be fade and appear for the next screen. And now it's uh, more like a native uh, navigation tab behavior can generate React Native code. If you don't want how to do this, just open uh, the documentation uh, generating uh, React Native and learn how to do this. Uh, here is a detailed description how to generate React Native code. Uh, here we just need to press a button, generate React Native code, unzip zip file, remove this to the bucket and move SRC folder into the facet uh, React Native application. This is source code for React Native application. And now, just uh, start emulator. I will do this for iOS platform. Okay, it's done. Let's check this. So it works perfect, as you can see. Uh, uh, one uh, issue only, it works with slide animation. We want it to fade uh, in and fade out. Uh, this is not difficult to change this. Let's do this in the Facet UI editor. Works as a tab. Uh, native tab navigation element, uh, we have to uh, change for tab bar available meta. Now it has component value. We have to change this on um, tabs value. 
the same for the sec uh, for the first screen and let's regenerate react native code and let's see what we have Relab to make it works to make work uh, new uh, generated code and now we can see that it works as we expected so we created uh, uh, we converted Figma design into uh, Facets UI uh, editor and then uh, generated React Native code and it works perfect it has uh, responsive design it's flexible and uh, it can be converted into uh, React Native code and uh, rendered in the emulator or in the uh, specific device